If you have your Bibles, open up very quickly to Psalm 100. Psalm 100. I believe our first song that we sang uh, comes from Psalm 100. The psalmist says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever and is faithful to all generations. His faithfulness to all generations. We've done that today. We've come into the Lord's presence and we've praised him and we've thanked him and we've prayed to him. We've sang praises to his name. We've praised him tonight for the cross and for Jesus and what he's done on the cross. We've praised him for his word uh, tonight as we sing, give me the Bible and, and how uh, his word is sweeter than honey. We've done that this, this morning and tonight. But sometimes I think we have a tendency to, um, to disconnect Sundays from the rest of the week. And uh, some, I want you to know tomorrow morning when you wake up, you'll wake up in God's presence. This morning and tonight, we've come into God's presence together and to encourage one another and to worship Him and to praise Him. But tomorrow morning, what will you do? Because you'll wake up in His presence and you'll live in His presence. I'm going to encourage you to look for God to, tomorrow. Look for how He's at work in your life. Look at how He's working the lives of others. Look for His goodness. Look for His love. Look for His mercy. When you see it, what will you do? I encourage you to praise Him. Praise Him in song. Uh, praise Him and, and talk to Him in prayer. Uh, but worship Him tomorrow as well. Not just today, but tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And we'll come back and we'll do it again on Sunday. Enter His gates with thanksgiving. Enter His presence tomorrow with thanksgiving as well. Just like you did this morning and tonight. Tonight, if you need to respond to the Lord's invitation, we give you that opportunity. If you're ready to to name Jesus as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sins and be immersed into Christ for the forgiveness of those sins and raised to walk in new life, we can help you with that. We would love uh, to, to help you with that and witness a new birth this evening. Maybe you're already a child of God, but you have sin in your life. You need to make things right with Him. Maybe there's just something you need to talk to Him about that's on your, on your mind and on your chest. We would love to, to, to pray for you and with you. Whatever your need is, come forward while we stand and while we sing.